get up. Some of you have been knocked out by light and you got up and saw the blood. You, uh, he hit me. Sometimes in life, you have to hit back. Recycle your pain. Get something from it. You're already in pain. Use it. Do something with it. Allow it to take you to the next level. Allow your pain to push you to greatness. What's your why? You need a why. Why do you need a why? Because some days you're going to say, I don't want to get up. But that why is going to say, I'll push yourself. Get up. Your mama needs you. Your daddy needs you. Your children need you. Get up. Your why is going to push you when you can't push yourself. When you want to quit and give up, your why is going to give you that edge you need, that advantage you need, that lift that you need to get to the next level. Your why. You better go inside. You still looking outside for the stuff that's already inside. You still looking for someone to save you when you already your superhero. You looking for some information from somebody when you already got what you need in your head. It's just time for you to get up and be the best version of you. As you're going through your go through and you ready to quit, you ready to give in because it don't look like you think it should look. You've been doing it for five years and it don't look like you think. You put all your money in it. You put all your time in it. People are looking at you crazy. Five years you've invested. Oh, you have absolutely nothing to do with what happened to you. It's not your fault. You got knocked on the ground. You had absolutely nothing to do with that. And I'm not blaming you for that. But if I come back a week later, you're still on the ground. That's your fault. If I come back a year later, you're still on the ground. That's your fault. If you get knocked down, there's nothing you can do about it. But getting back up has every single thing to do with you. And you will promise me that from this day forward, you will not be defeated. Why do you keep crying? Why me, God? Why did I get MS? Why did I get cancer? Why did my mama die? Why did I get fired? Do you understand? Listen, you got put through that because what that does, that tension produces greatness. Stop running from it and run to it. Stop telling me what you're going through. The greats, they get to it, they go through it. And the harder it is, the better. Now listen to me, I don't care if you're sick, I don't care what you're going through. If you're not dead, he ain't through with you yet. As long as you waking up, you still in the game. As long as you alive, you can still make it happen. As long as that breath in your nostrils boo, you still in the game. You still can win. Now get your butt up. I don't need you thinking about it no more. You're doing too much thinking. You're analyzing too much. You're talking yourself out of it. I just, oh, E, I don't know if this is going to work. I tried and it didn't work. I just need you to keep moving. I need you to make up in your mind that the only way you can lose is if you quit. I just need you to keep going. Get emotional if you must. Cry if you must. Get it out. But get your butt back up after you finish crying and put a time limit on the grind. You say, coach, I need 30 minutes. Don't take it. But when you come back after that 31 minute, you better grind. Because if you don't, you will be stuck at that adversity for the rest of your life. And some of you are not successful because every single time you run up against a trial, every time you run up against a tribulation, you stop and you cut off beast mode. And what I'm here to tell you is, if you tell that thing, I'm here just like you here. And I promise you, I ain't leaving without the degree. I will not leave without that goal. I will not leave without that dream. I will not leave this university until I'm successful. I will not leave this job. I will not leave this client. I will not leave this opportunity opportunity until I get it. What will you do with your pain? Will you let it break you or will you let it redefine you? You will change the world. Even when you're struggling, even when you're discouraged, and you feel like other people have given up on you, don't ever give up on yourself. The indomitable will, if you have a belief, you can do something. The only way you grow that, like in the gym, you grow your muscles by actually exercising. Yeah. To grow the individual will to become something, you must get comfortable with fear and failure. They must be your best friends. They're the only one that moves that needle of life. Every hero you guys had was called an idiot, crazy, a loser. You must break society's status quo. Status quo is normality. It's alive but not living. It's death on a stick, guys. The belief of the individual overrides thousands of people with just intent. Safety, comfort zones are dead zones. You have to continue to push yourself because your true potential will never be matched, guys. Nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit 
and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hits. The future rewards those who press on. With patient and firm determination, I'm gonna press on. I don't have time to feel sorry for myself. I don't have time to complain. I'm gonna press on. Stop complaining. Stop crying. We are gonna press on. We've got work to do. What's your why? What motivates you? What pushes you? What drives you? And if that thing is internal, if nobody has to call you, if nobody has to prod you, if nobody has to reward you, if nobody has to give you anything, if you are self-motivated and self-regulated, you can have it, you can be it, you can do it. Take ownership. Take extreme ownership. Don't make excuses. Don't blame any other person or any other thing. Get control of your ego. Take ownership of everything in your world, the good and the bad. Take ownership of your mistakes. Take ownership of your shortfalls. Take ownership of your problems. And then take ownership of the solutions that will get those problems solved. Take ownership of your mission. Take ownership of your job, of your team, of your future, and take ownership of your life. And lead to victory. It's possible you can live your dream. It's necessary that you have a plan of action, that you're resilient, that you stick to, and you work with the system, that you have the vision and never give up, that you become creative and relentless and keep on coming back again and again and again, and that it's you that you've got to take personal responsibility to make it happen, and that it's hard, easy is not an option, and when life knocks you down, jump back up and say, it's not over until I win.